All right, g'day IB psychologists. In this lesson on IB health, we are looking at social support and it's linked with stress. We're trying to explain and understand why are some people more at risk for having high levels of stress than others. We're using stress as our health problem. So here's our guiding question. By the end of this tutorial, I hope you can answer this. How and why social support is a risk and a protective factor, right? And this is giving us another socio-cultural explanation for high stress. It's important, first of all, to think, what is social support? Okay, it's having people around you that can help out. Fantastic. And in the psychology literature, we tend to divide this into two types. There's structural support and there's functional support. So think of structure, shape, functional, it's useful. Structure, the people, the... the uh, the support you have around you, this is like quantity, right? It's the structures around you in place. So for example, if you are a member of different teams, if you, how big is your family? How often do you see people? This is the, the structural, right? The actual support that you have access to. Functional support is more like how often do you actually access that support? The think more, this is like the quality, right? How you actually use that support. So structural is the support available to you. Functional is how, you, how much you actually use it, right? Hopefully that makes sense. The reason why they, these definitions probably aren't so important, but it does help if you can use this terminology, if you're using social support as an explanation in the exams, it just shows a depth of knowledge that most students will miss out on. Okay, so um, ah, this is a slide just to come up with the examples. All right, so social support, quality is better than quantity. This is what is found across the literature. Um, interestingly, during COVID, very recently they did a study and they found the more social support a student had, this was on Chinese students during COVID, the fewer symptoms they had of acute stress disorder. Acute stress disorder is PTSD that's lasted for less than 30 days. Just, okay, so post-traumatic stress disorder, in order to get that diagnosis, you have to have the symptoms for longer than 30 days. Acute stress disorder is less than 30 days. It's a pretty controversial diagnosis, right? Um, not always agreed upon that it is a disorder, but anyway, that's what they used in this study. Pretty interesting study, right? Um, now, why does social support help protect against stress? Well, because stress occurs when the demands of something outweigh our resources available to cope with it. We feel like we can't cope with a stressor because we don't have the resources available. Social support provides us with resources. Time, emotional support, financial support, um, you know, other people to help us out with something. Uh, and also in animal studies, we found that uh, very how a mother rat grooms right and licks and takes care of her pup actually affects not only its stress reaction later in life but also its gene expression so this link we have with social support is probably programmed into deep into our dna now key study that shows uh, the effects of social support on the stress response uh, was by townsend and so what they did they had 52 female college students and they did the trier social stress test um actually I don't think it was a TSST from memory, but it was a one minute speech. So it's the same kind of idea, but just not the, the official procedures. They did the cortisol levels, 30, 50, 90 minutes, right? So they did their before and their after and they, and they spaced out the after measures a little bit. Um, so they measured their self-reported self stress and also their fear of public speaking. Now, what they also did in order to, this was how the social support, they didn't manipulate social support, but they measured social support in how closely related someone was in their uh, sort of emotional responses to a questionnaire, right? How similar they were in their emotional response, basically. Okay, and so what they found out? Well, not surprisingly, right? People who had more fear of public speaking um, and had greater emotional similarity to the, sorry, higher public speaking was, was higher stress, right? That was a pretty basic finding. But in terms of social support, the relevant finding is that greater emotional similarity to their partner was associated with lower cortisol. What does that mean? Okay, so let's say one participant goes in there and, and they are um, doing the, the speech with someone else. Um, okay, so yeah, sorry, it's important here to say they were partnered up to do the speech, right? Now, if they were partnered up with someone else, if, uh, let's say me and Bill, we had pretty similar responses to the emotional uh, response questionnaire, then because we're similar, uh, I would have had lower stress response, lower levels of cortisol when doing the speech. But when people were partnered up to someone who's very different, right, me and Sam were way different, then they had much lower levels, uh, sorry, higher levels of cortisol. The, the, the buffering effect of the social support didn't really help if they weren't uh, emotionally connected. Okay, and same results for self-reported subjective stress. A stronger connection was linked with less subjective stress. 
um, the same pattern not found in dissimilar couples. And so what can we conclude from this? Well, the fact that if we are doing something stressful, we're going to be bene benefit if we are doing this with someone else. And the reason why I, I chose to include this social support uh, example in the stress unit is because of the increasing awareness we're getting of loneliness and being alone and the damaging effects of, sorry, I shouldn't say being alone because loneliness and being alone are two different things. But loneliness and the, uh, the experience of loneliness is a real risk factor for not only mental health problems, but physical health problems. And so I wanted to put this in uh, as well. And I do think that social support is a key resource. And so one of the big lessons I would like students to take from this unit on stress is that when you are feeling stressed, it's important to look for people to help you out. But just as important is when you are feeling on top of the world that you look for other people to help. And that is how I think we, uh, you know, we move forward as a society, as a culture, as a race, um, that, you know, it's not just about trying to look for other people to help when we're feeling down, but also looking for other people to help um, uh, when we're feeling up. All right, so hopefully from that, you can get how and why social support is a risk and a protective factor. Now, just so you know, risk and protective factors uh, are... Everything we're doing in this unit on stress, appraisals, locus of control, the comp gene, ACEs, uh, social status, all of these are risk and protective factors. There's a fantastic amount of overlap between the topics and the IB health psychology option, which makes it actually really easy to study for for the exams. That's why I like using stress for this example. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Remember, you've got the digital flashcards available to you. They're in the bundle pack if your teacher has these. You simply download them, print them out double-sided, cut them out, and there they are, ready to go. Or there's two versions of the flashcards. There's one where you can print it out double-sided. If you don't have double-sided printer, we have the single-sided version. You print it out, cut it, fold it in half, voila, instant flashcards, really helpful. Uh, they helped my students last year score really well on the exams, um, and they really liked them. So. Uh, I hope that's helpful. Link in the description to the bundle. If you're a student, you might want to flick this on to your teacher, see if they're interested. If you're not already using these materials, if you're a teacher, perhaps download the previews, have a look, see if this is something for you. Health psychology right now is not one of the more popular options. Uh, it's abnormal and human relationships, but stress is pretty hard not to want to teach. So I think it's going to improve and uh, increase in popularity. The blog is always being updated. Please check it out. Uh, as is our store uh, and as is this YouTube channel. So thank you very much. If that was helpful, please leave a comment. I know, I know, I know what you're going to say. I'm speaking too fast. I'm working really hard on trying to improve in that. I just get excited and anyway, I'm trying to get better. All right, cheers.